Hey guys, since a lot of us are struggling with the latest update of Battle.net and Diablo 4, let me explain the easiest way to make it work on your Apple Silicon Mac. We're using the Whiskey app and all links are in the video description below. As you can see, I'm on a M1 Mac Mini with 16 gigabytes of RAM. First of all, we need to download the latest version of the Whiskey app from getwhiskey.app. In this case, it is version 2.2.1. After download, we have to unzip the downloaded app right in our Downloads folder. By drag and drop, we move the Whiskey app in our Applications folder. If you prefer an other location, you can move it there. It is totally up to you. Just double-click the application to open it. You will get this notification. Confirm that you want to open the app with the Open button. Maybe you have to modify your security settings, but since you're watching this video, I assume you know how to do that. In the Whiskey app, we create a new bottle of wine. Kidding. Hope you get this joke. And name it Diablo 4, since this is the game we want to install in the end. Now click Create, and you've done the first step. Your bottle is ready for Battle.net, so let's download the Battle.net setup file. Make sure you download the Windows version. You can see the setup EXE file will have the little Whiskey logo in the lower right corner. You can just double click the file to start the installation. The usual setup stuff will happen now. Just do what you always do. It seems that you made it, but nope. Blizzard hates us and gives us this error. It will be the first of many. Close this error message and right click on your bottle. Choose Open in Finder. Navigate to your Bottles Program folder, where your Battle.net folder is located. In there, we will find the latest update, which causes the problems. So we have to delete this and put in the older version of Battle.net. You find the link to the older version of Battle.net in the video description. It was provided on GitHub by a user called Ahmad. A shout out to him, and sorry for wrong pronunciation. Now we hit Run in the lower right corner and navigate to the Battle.net.exe. Choose it and click the Open button. Right now we're able to log into our Battle.net account for the first time. Feels great, right? The black box you see here is the authenticator moment. I found no way to make it visible, but you have to accept the request. In my case, I just accepted it on my Apple Watch. It totally depends. Use the way you always use and accept the request. Since this is our first install, we have no games installed yet. That's why Battle.net can't find any installations of, in this case, Diablo 4. If you have it installed in Crossover or with Game Porting Toolkit, you just can move the Games folder in your Bottles Program folder. I parked the Games folder on my desktop so you can see that I just move it in the new, and from now on, right place. Now that Battle.net can find our Diablo 4 installation, we end up with this ugly black window. So let's fix this in the next step. Right-click on the Battle.net app icon in your dock and close the app. We have to change some settings in Whiskey right now. Click on Bottle Configuration and make the changes. First, double-click on Build Version and change it to 19042. You can make the same mistake that I made at this point and leave the Enhanced Sync setting on M-Sync or you change it to E-Sync. I missed it and change it later. So, no worries if you missed it too. Make sure to enable the DXVK switch and leave the bottle configuration to the previous settings. Open your bottle's C drive to make sure that Battle.net hasn't made another update by now. Sometimes it does, sometimes not. So always keep an eye out, and if the 14542 folder appears, just delete it. I guess the same goes for newer versions, but we'll see. Now open Battle.net by double clicking the icon. For the first time, the Battle.net app launches, and we are able to see stuff. This is great, and we're nearly done. As soon as the app is open, we have to open the app settings and uncheck the Use Browser Hardware Acceleration checkbox. Click Done and choose to restart later. Now we click the red X in the upper right corner to close the Battle.net app. By double-clicking the Battle.net app icon, I open it again as you can see. What we see here is the no GPU found error. After updating and launching Diablo 4, it'll always pop up. 
the CodeWeaver community found a way to solve this, and here is how. We have to quit the Battle.net app again and open the Bottle configuration. In here, we have to disable DXVK. Now, by right-clicking the Battle.net icon, we choose the Config option in the menu. Here, we have to do what the CodeWeaver guys figured out. Under Environment Variables, we choose the plus to add a new variable. There will be two empty boxes where we can enter stuff. We choose the left box and type in wine underscore simulate underscore write copy equal sign one and hit enter. Now we go back by clicking the left arrow right next to the Battle.net icon. Open the bottle configuration again. As mentioned earlier, I forgot to change the enhanced sync settings. Here you can see me doing it. Make sure you have eSync and nothing else. At this point, we're good to go. Battle.net starts smooth, Diablo starts smooth. Just one thing we have to keep in mind. The Battle.net app wants to update itself. And before we start Battle.net, we have to make sure that the folder Battle.net.14494 in our C drive is the only one in the Battle.net subfolder. If not, we have to delete the newer one. As an Easter egg, I have for you a simple workaround if Whiskey, Diablo, or Battle.net freezes. If you encounter a freeze, just open Activity Monitor, select everything marked as Intel-based process, click the little X button, and force quit everything. Done. Hope it helped, and thanks to all in the Mac Gaming subreddit without you guys, this video won't be here.